where do old cars go to die? Apparently, right here. The Michigan time capsule, few know about. It's near impossible to get to. Welcome to the people's lakeshore solution of the 60s. How do you stop a lake? You don't. I just fly a drone. Well then, get up there. Let's put some eyes on it. Put it in places that people can't, you know, go safely. Would you look at that? And they just rolled them over, and where they landed is where they landed. Evidence that Lake Michigan needs to be on the next episode of Hoarders for an intervention. Indeed. Nathan Voidovic calls it. Kind of an eyesore. The car graveyard. Some 150 scrap metal cars. A peek into the past. In the 50s, some 100 feet of the bluff had been washed away and some 20 homes had been lost or either moved. Proof that our present day problem. With the erosion being so bad. Was somebody else's pain in the butt before. In a last ditch effort to save their homes, they began chucking over cars, debris, anything that they could find to try to stop the water. Whose idea was this? Carl Kayat. Proud, understandably annoyed, St. Joseph Lakeshore resident. His creation's down there still. But. I wouldn't recommend anybody go down there. Wait, Ugh. you just said. We got a little rope. Okay, is this one of those do as I say? We're gonna try to brave it. Not as I do deals, Nathan? I'm good, I almost lost it. Somebody else has been down there recently. Yeah, we'll probably find them. Ow not alive. Okay, you got some car doors right over here. Looks like a tire. We actually passed a, uh, a bed with a the mattress still intact. I wouldn't sleep on it though. So if we slip, these jagged shards of rusty metal will cushion our fall, right? It looks like that, I don't know, maybe a big van right behind you there. Beat up, barely recognizable. They're pretty tangled in there with the roots and the trees and the bushes. Symbols of the 60s. Kind of just keeps them in place. Not exactly having a day at the beach. It makes a wall. People were desperate. Probably watching their bluff fall in. This is how they dealt with it. Not saying it's the right way to do it, but it worked. Any advice on how we're getting back up? Avoid potential injury. Thanks, Captain Obvious. You can't stop nature. Unless you shove a bunch of junked cars down an embankment. This is one overlooked piece of history. Brent Ashcroft, 13 on your side.